The coal being packaged is the easy task in this business, but the coal miners are the ones that have the hardest part of the job. The case of the collapsed mine occurred in West Virginia. Gas was building up inside a particular mine, but the owner made the workers keep on working without letting them know. Hours passed and the workers kept doing their job and digging out coal when suddenly they felt the whole mine start to shake. Okay, go. Start acting scared. Then bang. The whole mine exploded. The explosion killed three miners and trapped eight others. Volunteers tried to rescue the ones inside, but unfortunately, Three of them died due to more explosions. Meanwhile, the miners inside were literally starving to death and decided the only way for any of them to survive was to kill and eat one of their own. They felt that it was their duty that at least some of them should be found alive or otherwise the three volunteers who had died rescuing them would have died in vain. The seven men were rescued almost a month later. There are many sources of ethical standards to approach this dilemma, but the utilitarian approach is one of the two that stand out as the most practical. This approach chooses action that has the best overall consequences. For example, Frozo knew that he had to save his city instead of listening to his wife and ignoring the danger outside. One way the utilitarian approach works for this case is how the eight men came up with the idea that one of them had to sacrifice their life to keep the other seven men alive. The other approach is the fairness or justice approach. It talks about how all equals should be treated equally. For example, higher pay for harder work. This approach works in this case as well because the manager made an unsafe choice of sending his workers in the mine. As a manager, he should have treated everyone equally and not send anyone in there since he did not want to go in there himself. 